we've got our project all set up now and uh, we want to go out and print this. If you remember when we first created our project we added a legend to it and we went and did that we added a legend and look at this bring that up click on this little button up here and we're gonna go and edit our legend so we can put your name on here put your uh, well that's not the name we'll put the name we'll put this project project one and the company let's put uh, and now we can put there we go and you put the date you can put your date on there revision one number one and everything's good okay it's there now you can save this as your own legend you can call it so next time when you start this up you've got everything all set up all this information is filled out here and uh, you can go in here now I would suggest for your class instead of drawing name you can call this Put the class you're in okay so there we go that's done that's good now we're going to come up here and we're going to print okay we're going to print the diagram this is your print window that gets set up now and you'll see over here on the left we've got a page and over here on the right we've got a page there's a couple of ways we can do this and I'll go through and set this up um, you can print this select both pages and now you're going to print exactly what you see split across two pages and if you can see right up here I'll undo this but you can see right up here the pages are set to overlap so if you cut and put the two of them together you have a cut place with the overlap showing up. You can see a little bit of the S on the start button right here. And, you know, that's a little hard to go and uh, use it that way. Here's another way you can do is come up here to the print scale and just hit keep in minus, 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 minus. Now it all fits on one page, so you can print it there. And I'm thinking, well, there's a lot of wasted space down here. So let's go back to 100% and let's go to print this setup and change it to landscape. Okay, now that's better. Now we can start reducing and there we go. We're down to one page we can print. Now in this case we've got some wrong numbers down here but there's nothing down there so all we do is we select that one page, come over here and hit print. and eventually it will finish up and go there we go and we're all done when you're done with that you hit close and go back to your program